right, Lee. So for today's Terms of Endearment, we are going to talk about on-the-day coordination, turnover coordination, and full coordination. All right? So let's begin. People always think, uh, pag sinabing on-the-day coordination, coordinators will just go there on the day itself. Other brides don't realize is uh, just um, just because it's on the day coordination that doesn't mean that that's the only time we can help. In our case, in wins events, when we do on the day coordination, kahit let's say um, we have clients who booked us like a year ahead, all right, because they realize that it's very important to have a coordinator on the day of the event. So what happens is. Um, as soon as they book us, at least a week or two after um, booking us, our services, we we ourselves uh, ask for an, a first meeting, all right? So one is to get to know the client and another thing is for us to see already and show the itinerary of the day so that we can already help and uh, troubleshoot uh, what types of um, suppliers that they still need and um, maybe we can help refer some uh, suppliers as well or if um, they have any question in a particular supplier like when they get their caterer uh, sometimes like for us coordinators there are some questions that we ask the caterers because based from experience we do not want uh, those things to happen so usually for us in um, as an on, even if it's an on-the-day coordination, uh, our clients are free to consult us anytime. So, for us, it's okay to book us um, a year before or before the wedding. It's no problem. Because for us, sino ba may hirapan on the day? Diba ang coordinator din pag uh, hindi namin alam? Diba? If there are some things na pwede naman pala i-prevent during the planning stage, right? So, it's it's consultation. We... Um, in events events, we're not really um, into so uh, about the time frame. For us, it's natural for us to help, all right? And we don't mind how long it is for us to help. But the, um, it's good then because at least the confidence and the bond with the client is getting stronger when we do the consultation, whether it's via chat. Because once I have a client, Usually, we have, uh, I share my FB messenger uh, name and also I chat with them also if they want Viber or through emails. And then if they want a uh, video call, it's also unlimited for us. Um, for us, lang ang face-to-face ang major lim- limitado, which is like three, three, um, three uh, meetings lang face-to-face. But other than that, on the day, um, we can do um, our own ocular visit. Means that kahit hindi naman kasama yung uh, client, because it's important for us as coordinators, we also visit on our own, of course, para to know the ins and outs of the, the venue and the caterer or the rules, right? So on the day, um, major difference lang niya uh, with full coordination and turnover, we are not going to look for suppliers for them we are not obligated but uh what we can do is at least we be um the clients con- consults right con- consultants right so that's what we can do and then for when you say on the day coordination it's actually 11 hours 11 hours of um of services usually five to six hours before the ceremony Union dress up, so five to six hours. Um, if uh, you're not familiar with the dress up or preps of a day, uh, I'll put the link below. All right, I'll put the link on the description um, for the YouTube channel so that you can have a BTS or an idea of what happens on the dress up. That's the preparation stage for uh, everything that we need to prepare for the ceremony and reception. So that's a dress up, usually six hours. Desha. Um, and then one hour or two hours with well one hour technically yung ceremony and then means less than that tapos may pictorial yung couple but um 
during that time, nasa reception venue na yung mga guests. So, basically, 11 hours, yung full on the day coordination. If it's less than 11 hours, good hours, mga ganun. Minsan, nag-exceed naman kami. Minsan nga, like, uh, ang wedding is 3 p.m. Minsan, we end up like 2 a.m. Meron kaming wedding na 2 a.m. kasi may after party or something. Pakasama pa kami. Pero, of course, may additional payment na yun. Pero, yung Typical talaga na on the day, it has to be 11, uh, 11 hours long. So, who are the clients? If if you think you're best of uh, having an on-the-day coordination, well, if you're the kind of person na um, alam mo na naman yung gagawin, alam mo na kung sino mga suppliers mo, or on-the-day is usually for clients na may, uh, may hours talaga to really sit on their wedding planning, yung uh, very much aware and very um, very controlled yung ano naman niya, yung time. Usually, ito yung mga uh, brides na mahaba yung time frame, hindi mabilisan. Um, parang, yun, kasi Michelle, you're the kind of person na you know what you want, and then you have time, you have time, and the resources are ready for that. Kaya yun yung mga uh, alam mo naman kung sino yung mga suppliers na kukunin. Yung, yung mga on-the-day coordination, yung parang if you have the luxury of time, you have the luxury of money as well, na parang uh, madali na yan sa pero hindi yung budget, hindi ako mabublema sa suppliers, mga ganun. Yun yung uh, bagay mag-on-the-day. So, so that's on-the-day coordination. So, on-the-day coordination, um, it's usually uh, dress up, ceremony, and reception. So, that's again, 11 hours. That's uh, what you do on the day for turnover okay turnover means half of the most of them it's half of the suppliers to kuha nyo na and uh, but there comes a time na nagpaplano kayo biglang ay documents nagkakaproblem sa documents or you're having problems with your own schedule um, that's the time you get a coordinator. Usually, mga turnover namin is yung um, lanyo pag chancery. Um, kami yung pinapalak sa chancery or they don't have time to go uh, to the the uh, venues or may pinapalakad. Kailangan lakarin or kailangan i um, tawagan usually para kami naging for, for me so, as a coordinator uh, we also look for the um, suppliers to kulang, uh, kulang na, or yung mga kailangan pa. So, basically, ang turnover is yung clients na kalahate, halos nagawa na nila kalahate, yung kalahating task nila, na kasi dahil sobrang busy sila, uh, they don't have time to process things, or at least they don't have to, time to schedule things. Um, or clients na tag, lalo na usually nagta-turn over pag yung nasa ibang bansa din. So, yun. Uh, yun yung mga nagta-turn over. Turn over meaning is like, uh, I have some things already, pero uh, hindi pa ako tapos, ipapasa ko sa inyo. So, that's why that's actually turn over coordination. Meron din siyang on-the-day coordination, pero nga, from kalahati pa maghanap pa ng suppliers towards the on-the-day actual, on-the-day. Uh, services. So, yun, yun yung sakop ng turnover. So, for full coordination, full coordination happens when um, sometimes you have the luxury of time. Still, you're like, most of my clients are abroad and there are papers like, nadagaan pa sa chancery or um, wala sila dito so they need someone who's an expert um, here in the country. So that's what uh, we all always do. We source out from start to finish. Uh, we, I personally like because I do it hands on all. I quite, um, I meet with them. I ask them uh, the usual questions when we start um, the the process. Like, what do you want? Mona dream. What was her dream wedding? Uh, what are your three ends, your non-negotiables, your neutral, and your negotiables when it comes to um, uh, your dream wedding as well as the expirations, the pictures. Uh, so that I would 
understand what you want what you're looking for at the same time so but again in a way in a systematic way i also advise again um i'm the type of person or i'm the type of coordinator i will guide you how um and i will tell you the pros and cons based from the experiences that we had um especially with the different suppliers what you might expect or what might happen we will share with you and our thoughts regarding this and then um regarding this also for full coordination we do the documents like as mentioned to chancery uh we do that and also again outsource suppliers so we will give you choices usually like per week uh we get um uh, i submit it per week and then we meet and then kung may napili kayo yun tapos if you have questions for it we, we meet regarding that as well so yung mga ganun so that's what I usually do for full coordination until syempre on the day on the day so as much as possible for full coordination uh, if the clients are not here ako ito talaga nakikipag-usap tapos nga binibideo ko yung mga venues like churches kaya minsan may makita kayong um ocular visits now i'm actually uh taking a video for of um of the different venues na rin kasi nga most of my clients full coordination clients are out of the country or are very busy okay so i'm doing uh the leg works i'm also doing the actual field work for them so so that's what full coordination do we look for suppliers we book your suppliers and then if you're here in the country uh we uh communicate with them and we uh schedule their meetings with them lana pag food tasting ocular visits so basically that's what we do for the different coordination so sino yung mga the full coordination again if you're you're in another country or even if you're in the philippines and you're quite busy okay so i hope you were enlightened uh what we do as a coordinator with coordination it's up to you um your preference but but one thing is for sure when you get coordinators they are very important because they're the experts of what happened from from the from the suppliers until the day of the event so as much as possible personally uh, aside from the venues, I hope you also get a coordinator because uh, the coordinator is not someone uh, just basta basta lang, okay, on the day taga, pila lang kami or whatsoever. We actually are there to guide you. As a coordinator, um, I hope you understand also how important our role is to help you. And, and we will never undermine, of course, your intelligence and your creativity and your decisions however let us help you because we will guide you what we can share with you is not just our expertise but also our experiences all right so i hope you were able to uh, grasp the different types of coordination this is lee kundalan from wins events management and this is terms of endearment thank you and have a great day